What's up guys, it's Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another habitual line crosser video. So this one we've got Franz Ferdinand. Uh, would he come back from the grave or something? Is he back? I don't know. Anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Alright, who shot my prime minister? I didn't but, even know their prime but minister got obviously shot. obviously America. It stinks of him. No. At least I think it wasn't. Our assassins aren't 71, are they? Fourth wall break, as I'm making this video, he is alive. I don't know how that's going to age, <laughs> obviously I have to talk about the news. It is obvious you did not like him because he could see through all- I didn't even- I didn't even know that, uh, the guy had been shot. All of the West bullshit, and he was siding with me. I'll be honest with you, geography is not very well taught in this country. It's kind of broken down into us and then everyone who loses world wars and doesn't have their flag on the moon. But I took the time to go down the rabbit hole of that country and try and figure out what the heck is going on. Dude served four terms. He was ousted a while back because of an investigation, but now he's back. And he's both liberal and pro-Russian, which is kind of backwards to everything that's going on over here. You will see, he knows so much- Okay, so the thing is, is he liberal or is he liberal? Right, because this is the thing, a lot of European countries- still use liberal as like the actual philosophical definition of liberal i'm gonna i'm gonna look into this but uh look into where he's from uh slovakia prime minister um so it's robert fico is this the guy uh yeah so this is the guy right so yeah, because because a lot of Europeans when they they yeah, on the continent especially when they use the word liberal they mean like the actual philosophical definition of liberal, which in the Anglo countries is technically conservatism because that's you know what traditional Anglo politics was was liberal politics Whig politics, um, in the West or in the West. In the English-speaking world, ironically, even though we invented liberalism and it is the conservatism is liberalism, we don't use it to talk about like the ideology of liberalism. We use it to, as like a colloquial slang term for like socialism and other left-wing ideologies that aren't actually liberal. Um, yeah. So, which party is this guy? Uh, so, a lot of politicians, Prime Minister Slovia, populist left. His political positions have been described as populist, left-wing, and conservative. Okay, so is he just, like, all over the place? What is his party? Um, okay, so he was a member of the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia, and then he was a member of the Party of the Democratic Left, and now he's a member of Direction Social Democracy. Defines himself as a third-way party. Okay, so fascist fascist but we don't call ourselves fascist um left-wing nationalist party in slovakia oh so the dude is like unironically just a fucking fascist let's see social democracy social conservatism national conservatism left-wing nationalism left-wing populism russophilia anti-islam anti-lgbt soft euro skepticism um, fiscal center left, social right wing. Yeah, I mean, the dude is literally, he's like unironically a fascist. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway. But it obviously it was him. No, they're also a member of NATO, and I don't poop in my backyard, I do it in yours. But this does have a weird. Franz Ferdinand 1914 feel to it, doesn't it? Am I the only one? I feel like I've seen this movie before. It's okay, Slovakia. I will find a way to tie this to the Russian. And then, he will be mine. I really have to get that dude as F-35s quicker. Article 5, Article 5. Oh, how I love my Article 5. Ah, little European Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, did you... Canada, what's all that noise up there? Oh, sorry, dear bud. We're going to be kind of loud up here for a while. We're uh, trying to become independent from any imports from China. And, uh, well, we started harvesting our own raw materials and plussing up our uh, stockpiles of weapons, dear. I feel like this should be an enormous red flag, but uh, I'm going to let it go. You do you, can. Man, honestly, if we start just, you know, getting as many natural resources as we can, because up north, it's like fucking barren, and there's so many resources, so many rare earth minerals. 
We can sell them to the Americans, sell them to the UK, sell them to all our allies, right? Start having manufacturing, right? Rebuild the Rust Belt. Because, like, a lot of Americans don't know, the Rust Belt goes into Canada too, right? We outsource a lot of our industry as well. Um, you know, rebuild the Rust Belt, start getting manufacturing, fucking start building houses again because we have a massive housing crisis. Uh, the problem is, I don't know, the housing one is so hard, though, just because convincing the boomers to let us lower housing prices by building new houses is never going to go well. They just, they sold out the fucking next generation and to the highest form bidder. Canada. Thanks, Darren. I could rant about that for war hours. Crime if somebody has a record of it. Wait, <laughs> what was that? What'd you say? Oh, nothing. Uh, here's some more oil for you. Hmm. This could be hush oil. Or it could be genuine Canadian hospitality. <laughs> Those Canadians keep my old engines turning and they're okay with me. Oh, hey, Buff, I've been meaning to tell you, they've been working real hard on that SR-72. Supposed to be hitting Mach 6, and uh, then we're going to outfit it with hypersonics, because why the fuck not? You know I have hypers. Shut up. No, you don't. You have magical, made-up Russian bullshit that has the lethality of a fucking confetti cannon. <laughs> confetti cannon. I, I could catch him. Kid, you know, you're you're really capable, and you have a lot of firepower, but uh, I don't think you'll be able to. Why not? Uh, to be frank, mostly physics how about you unlock that hangar door and me and this physics character go have a conversation <laughs> physics character uh yeah you know what, honestly the most wild thing out of all this to me is i did not realize that slovakia had like a unironically like literally fascist government power uh like, like, actual fascism, not like, I don't like it, therefore it's fascism, fascism, but like actual fascism. It's very interesting. I'm surprised it's not more uh, talked about. Uh, I actually wonder, if I Google this, Slovakia fascism. Um, Yeah, people don't seem to be talking about it, which is really interesting. Maybe it's because they're a NATO country. But yeah, you would think like it's it's like unironically a fascist government. Like, they literally have all the fascist beliefs. Right, the only the difference is they're not totalitarian, which I guess is a key difference, right? Because technically, yeah. So I I don't know what you would call it, like soft fascism libertarian fascism i don't know it has all the all the same ideological beliefs except for the totalitarianism aspect of it <laughs> anyway let me know what you think below like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one